Contestant number six. Good morning to one and all, the second principal, Father Ishmael, her mistress, Sister Jasmine, and especially the chief guests of today's show, sister teachers, and all of you, my brothers and sisters. My name is Manishika Jadurma, and I am from Shimla, Dr. Para. My hobby is to read and travel. I pass out from this school. My aim in life is to become a human resource management department. Thank you. Human Resource Management Department. Okay, nice. Next, I will call contestant number seven. Contestant number seven, please. Good morning to you all. Respected for our school, school of the school, CPS, Maradol Paul, and Mr. Sisa Taxi, judges, teachers, and to you all, my brothers and sisters. My name is Mohan Evoma. I am from Dr. Mundupara. My hobby is to be here with you and I pass out from this school. My aim in life is to become a wedding photographer. Thank you. Thank you, Professor number seven. A very nice answer. Next, I will let you call contestant number eight. Contestant number eight. Please take the stage. Good morning to everyone, respected fathers, sisters, chief guests, judges, and all my brothers and sisters. My name is Eva Debarma, and I am from Arkenagar, who is Marabara, and I pass out from Standard English School in Bishon. Uh, my hobby is traveling, and my aim in life is I want to become an air hostess. Thank you. She wants to become an air hostess and fly high, right? right. Now next, I will let you call contestant number nine. Contestant number nine, please come on your stage and introduce yourself. Hi. Hello. Respected family school, principal of the school, sister Kesley. Yes, and yes, the headmistress. The chief guest of the day, Father Jogopal, Vice Principal of Holy Cross, Agartala. Teachers and non-teaching staff, my dear brothers and sisters, and to all my dear friends, a very delightful and pleasant morning to one and all. It's my pleasure to introduce about myself. My name is Petrus Kumarmian. I am born and grown up at Bajrai Para, for the past five years. I have recently moved to Hiranath Para. Study and grown up at Notre Dame Holy Cross High School, Murphara. My hobby is videography, blogging, writing, especially making diaries. My aim in life is to become civil service. I am very happy to be, to be part of this program and I am looking forward to be connecting with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Contestant number 9. Very great answer. Very clear. Next, I would like to call Contestant number 10. Contestant number 10, please come here and introduce yourself. A very warm good morning to you all, respected father, headmistress, judges, teacher, and all my dear loving friends. My name is Jennifer Kaipe. I am from Krishna Para. I pass out from Eklafia Mother Residential School. My hobby is to sing a gospel song. My aim in life is to become a hair hostess. Thank you. Thank you, Contestant number 10. Uh, so by now we have two hair hostess in the group, okay? Now next, I would like to call Contestant number 11. Contestant number 11, please. Respected for our mission, Father Jopo, Sister Justine, SLDS. And you all, my dear brothers and sisters, judges, teachers, a very warm good morning to one and all. It is my pleasure to, to be present in this stage in front of you all. I am Joseph. My previous school is Holy Cross Kapotsura. I started there. It's one to class 10. I was there, I, I was in the hostel, staying there till class 9. 
So, uh, ever since I started playing football, my aim in life is to become a footballer. And my hope is, is also to, to play football. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Dr. Senator Ted, and his aim in life is to become a footballer, which was also mine, but I couldn't become. Okay, next is last but not least, contestant number 12. Contestant number 12, can you please come on the stage and introduce yourself. Good morning to everyone, respected principal, happy stress, judges, and, all, and teachers, and all my dear friends. My name is Rosni also. I'm from Ambasa. I pass out from Holy Cross School, Banisagar. My hobby is to sing more song, gospel song. And my aim in life is to become an air mistress. Thank you.
Good afternoon to everyone here present over here. And warm welcome, all the precious. As we are eagerly waiting to know you all, so welcome to this whole new world, dear students. Before going ahead, I would like to extend my warm welcome to every person present over here. Especially, I welcome Reverend Mother Job of CSE, the Vice Principal of Holy Cross College, Jubalara. He is present with us as Chief Guest of the Day. Father Jopo had been the principal of this school in the past and he is well known to us. We are privileged to have you here, Father Jopo, as our Chief Guest. Also, I'd like to extend warm gratitude to all the class 12 students and teachers for giving me this beautiful opportunity to welcome all the refreshers to our small family. Dear Precious, this is surely a special day for you all and a special occasion for you as today you are going to start a new and fresh journey of your life. Full of new challenges, milestones and achievements. This day is a day of nostalgia for many. It is a day with many new mixed feelings and happiness. Confusion, fear, and excitement. But don't worry, we all are here for you to make sure that this journey is memorable for you all. Well, this place is not just about education and training, but also about building a personality, an attitude, a character, and a versatile person. So, be ready to capture some magical moments, make happy memories and friends who are going to surround you for a lifetime with happiness. There must be lots of questions crushing for you. What is this place like? Those who are coming from the other schools and those who are from here, they are already familiar to the campus. How are the people? Will I be able to mix with the others? Will I be able to get what I am searching for? For all this, I would like to just say one word, relax. You will get the answers positively as you live by. So welcome again to our small and beautiful family, which is full of love and happiness, learning and success. For your information, our school name is St. Andre School Portunaga. The school is named after a saint in Holy Cross who was a brother and who inspired many people with his dedicated service, who was placed just as gatekeeper. Just because he did not have enough qualification or he did not have enough interest to study further. And he chose to remain as a gatekeeper and served many people while working as a gatekeeper. Proof like Mahatma Gandhi is that no other, no words are to demean them. No words are a small word. No words that dehumanizes you or disrespects you. In that work he found the glory of his life, the success of his life. And today he became saints in the church and under the, on the honor of his name, the school is given the name Saint Andrew School. So he is our patron saint. The congregation was founded by Holy Cross Fathers, Blessed Basin Moro, who is still in the process of sainthood. And this year we celebrate 150th year of his death anniversary. Blessed Basin Moro was the founder of congregation and we all of us share the same vision and mission of that person. We educate your hearts and minds and we try to give our best to bring you a full fledged person and good personalities. And this becomes our core responsibility as fathers and sisters and teachers to work here together to make you a happy, joyful and a successful person in the future. What is expected of you is your dedication, your regularity, your commitment, 
your obedience. That is what we need from you as you begin your journey in this school for the next two years. We expect and hope from you a better and the best results that would bring glory to our school and pride to each one of us as a teacher in this school. And also, it will be an inspiration for the younger ones to continue their studies as a students in this school. We have been planning and trying for our very best to uh, affiliate or to get the subjects for science, for which the inspection will take place in the next week. For that, we need a dedicated cooperation to clean, to arrange, and to do the necessary work for the inspection. At the end, I like to I ask you to meet and greet everyone and make a cordial relationship with power. As you walk in the corridor when you see your teachers, wish them good morning, ask them how to you. Reply to them when you are asked the questions, when you are greeted. I would also like to ask you to be enthusiastic and participating in every event to come. Try to be extraordinary in every case to stand out and shine your way out. The theme of our academic year is Asukoma Satyana. That itself speaks something to unfold which is hidden in you. An education is that to bring you to the reality, something that is hidden, dig it out and make you know who you are, what you are capable of and what you can do to create changes, changes of love, changes of peace. We all have very high expectations for all and are quite positive that you are coming to cross all the barriers to fulfill those expectations. With their force and consistency, you can achieve anything you wish. At the end of this journey, you are going to have a treasure of memories. I'd like to acknowledge and appreciate the organizers of today's precious day. Thank you, dear teachers and students. Special words of appreciation and gratitude for the teacher Tessin Eseviers for her tireless effort with the help of the teachers for organizing the Paraku program. Let us give all of them a big round of applause. I would like to thank everyone for arranging such a warm gesture to welcome and introduce our new friends in the school. It was my pleasure to share my thoughts with you all here and welcome you all. Once again, thank you and God bless you.
Doctor Honori. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to St. Henry. So, my question is this. How can I artificial intelligence practically improve our daily life? How can you technology practically improve our daily life like mobile, so many things, technical? Yes, by mobile phone. Okay, I will make it easy for you. Uh, is technical harmful or helpful for us? Any reason? Uh, because by WhatsApp go, we can by WhatsApp we can create a group and we can send the messages. And by phone, I mean by phone we can call or we can send a message. And by the author by messenger we can send a message. Thank you. Something related with education, something knowledge. Education. Yes. Yes, by Yes, by WhatsApp group we can send the school, school WhatsApp group we can send the school bodies or whatever which is not possible by the, what to say, we. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor Number One, for your answer. Next, I will call Professor Number Two. Please come on the stage, on the middle of the stage. Professor Number Two. Contest Number Two. Very simple question. Wealth, health, and family. Okay. Wealth, health, and family. If you are given if you are asked to organize first, second, third, how will you organize them and why? Health, well, health and family. Three things you have to sequence there and one, two, three. And why do you give them first, second and third? Um, and I will give first health. After that family and after that work. And it's because Health comes first. If I'm not healthy and well, how am I going to manage family and well? So family comes second because our family support us in everything, including our education. It's given by our family because they help us and they send us to get educated. And so well to be at last because our success is what we will get. Well. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Contestant number two. Now, next, I will call Contestant number three. Just number three. I have seen that your hobby is reading book. Please let me know what is the latest book you have read. Thank you, sister, for the wonderful question. The latest book I have read was about the same book. That is, that is St. Peter. Can you explain about St. Peter a few lines? St. Peter was uh, followers of Jesus, the disciples of Jesus. And Jesus gave him the name Peter. First, his name was Simon. And Jesus gave him the name Peter, which means the rock. And Jesus told to the Peter that in, in the rock he will be the temple. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number three. Now next, contestant number four. Contestant number four. Okay, hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Miss. Uh, can you answer the question that uh, who are the three people in your life you are very close? You are close so that you can share your uh, all the anxiety, all the happiness and everything. Three people. You can take or more than three also. Jesus, 
parents and friends. Uh, I want the name. It's not parents or it's not the parents. So that, uh, see, some person who are real in front of you, see, Jesus, we can pray, no problem, but I want some per I to name as a person who can reply back or who can still in your sentence. Okay. Teachers, Oh, my father and my mother and my friends of my classmate. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number four. Now next, contestant number five. Good morning, contestant number five. Good morning, miss. Welcome to St. Henry. Sorry, miss. Welcome to St. Henry School. Thank you. You are Leila. Okay. Okay, your question is, how can you stop the use of plastic in the society? The use of plastics can be stopped in many ways as like uh, some school has introduced free plastic schools. Like they are means most of the school has banned using the plastics. So recently few past ten years ago, government introduced that with a trend there will be no plastic cups for drinking this. But after that they introduced the paper glass that is made of bamboos like that. So Government has taken the steps to stop the plastic uses and some of our students can do to, do to stop plastic uses is like they can use the plastic cover page instead of paper that is made of like white color things. Uh, they can make use of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, contestant number five. So next, contestant, contestant number six, please. Just number six, I'd like to ask you, what are the tips you can give for the upcoming generation to have success in their life? For the upcoming generation, I'd like to tell them to work hard and believe in yourself and do work obediently and respect all others and Time to do the time management. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent answer. Thank you, contestant number six. Now next, contestant number seven. Contestant number seven. Contestant number seven. Why do you want to become Mr. Andre? And what would you do? Why do you want to become Mr. Andre? And what would you do?
okay? So no need to be so tension or so that. So that my answer was the last slides. So my another question is, suppose you are the judge, you are my guest. What question you want to do to yourself? What question you want to ask yourself? Your choice, your answer. Yeah. Why you want to become an very good answer. Now, please answer now. Because it is my childhood dream. If you are given an opportunity to bring some changes in the world, if you are given an opportunity to bring changes in the world, what change would you bring? I was taught the word which is not possible and spread love. Which means there will be no war. And it is not possible because there is different people which spread different language. We didn't understand which caused us hatred. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you, Mr. Number 9. So next, Mr. Number 10. Mr. Number 10, please. Mr. Number 9, I'd like to ask you, everywhere we sing national anthem, what is the meaning of national anthem? Can you explain it? Now next, I'd like to call number 10, right? Number 11. Good morning, contestant number 11. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to St. Henry. Yes. So my question is, what is the most useful thing you would do to save the environment? To clean the environment and try not burning waste. To recycle it and not to cut for us. Thank you. Thank you, number one. Last but not the least, condition number twelve. Condition number twelve. Condition number twelve. Very good. Very simple and easy questions. Okay. If you could be beautiful and not so smart. If you could be beautiful and not so smart or brilliant and not so beautiful. If you could be beautiful but not so smart or brilliant but not so beautiful, what would you be and why? You are beautiful but not so smart. Brilliant but not so beautiful. What would you choose to be and why?
teacher, the principal of the school, Sister Chesley, the headmistress, teachers, my dear students, especially the class 11 students who are being welcomed today to this institution. I do not know how prepared are you to listen to your speech at this moment after the fashion show for the enactment by the a few of the students who contested themselves to be selected as Mr. and Miss St. Andrew's School. May I request the privilege of having a few of the students from class 11. Roll number 2 in any of the sections. Who is roll number 2? Roll number 4, roll number 6, roll number 8. Class 11, please come on the stage. Roll number 2, 4, 6, 8. No roll number given? If you are not given the roll number, Alright, I, I, there is a solution, there is a solution. All those speaking your name with alphabet uh, B, please come on the stage. All those who can begin the name with alphabet B, B for balloon, come on the stage. All, all those who begin with alphabet C, please come on the stage. B and C. Alphabet C. I won't give you any hard work. Hello. Only one question to you. Just tell me your habit. That's all. Sleepy. Others, please think about your habit. I give you one second to think about your habit. Just express your habit. What is your habit? What is your habit? Dancing. Put your hands together for them. Thank you. Please go back to the It is to bring home a point that I asked them to come onto the stage. All of us have got different habits. They have chosen some habits. Maybe I just call them on the spot and I ask them to express what their habit is. So probably they were not ready to answer properly. We can have different habits. That's our choice. That's our choice. Maybe some are chakra. Maybe eating their habit. Chakra, no? I don't know. How do you say that? Maybe eating all Bhagavan and Prabhupada only. We can have different habits in life. But these habits, whether it is small or big, determine to a great extent what we become in our life. Are you with me? Do you hear me? Yes. Our habits determine what we become in our life. Great persons have great habits. Habits may seem like very small, but it has a great impact on our life. 
These days I sat for counseling students who are coming for admissions to Holy Cross College Agartala. I asked them the same question as to what their habit is. Many of them asked like, or many of them replied saying that their habit is watching reels on mobile phones. Some of them said very honestly that their habit is to play PUBG or any of those games in the mobile phones. Some of them also said that their habit is reading. Some of them said their habit is to visit places, traveling. Some of them said making vlogs is their habit. Different people have got different habits in their life. John Clear, in his book, Atomic Habits, if you ever get a chance, you should read this book. John Clear, in his book, Atomic Habits, speak about why, how simple habits make a vast difference in our life. Simple habits make a vast difference in our life. We may not recognize that. Many of us like talking and the favorite word that we use here for talking is gossiping. Gossiping is negative. It's not positive. Talking, discussing, engaging in dialogue, these are positive. When we say positive, it is negative. Some of us say our habit is poking each other. Maybe calling nicknames. In every class they give nicknames to every other student, even to teachers and schools. Some of their habit is that. Some have a habit of telling lies. Anytime when something is asked, lies come to the tip of their tongue without much effort. Some of you have, may have good habits like singing, dancing, reading books. Traveling is a good habit. How many of us do have the habit of doing things on time? The habit of doing things on time. Most of us, this may be a word which is difficult, but most of us are good at procrastination that is postponing what we are supposed to do at this time. When we open a textbook and sit down to study, that's the time we think about our friends. Maybe we think about the food that is being prepared by our parents or in the hostel. Maybe we eat the food in front of the book in front of us and think about traveling somewhere, maybe in don't know, maybe in London or America or in Vancouver or Shiloh, you travel with your mind. What is our habit? Tiny habits make a big difference in our life. My dear class 11 students, as you embark on this journey, I would call it the journey of higher secondary as a journey of specialization. You are going to specialize on a subject that you like, that you have chosen. You are not going to study all the subjects as you study from grade 1 to grade 10. You are going to concentrate on a subject that you like 
and you have to do so. It is an era of specialization. A chapter in your life where you specialize from now onwards, keeping in mind what you want to become in your life. John Devey, a great educationist, he says that education is not preparation for life, but life itself. And I generally believe that. Because our every experience is part of our education. When you go into education, we come to know that there is formal, informal, and even sometimes a non-formal education. And formal education is what happens in the context of a classroom, in the school, in the college, in the university. That is formal education. That is informal education that you have from home, from your friends, from people you interact with. Every time you have different experiences. St. Chandra School would provide you experience. How do you learn from those experiences? Maybe you have to unlearn what you have learned in the past. Sometimes maybe you have to relearn what you have learned in the past. And that is education. Therefore, develop habits which would make a great difference in your life. Concentrate on good habits that will build life. Give up bad habits that destroy life. Thank you very much and wish you all the best.
it's Sunday, you have a long life, you have lots of things to do, it's just the starting of your senior life. So please be confident about yourself and do whatever you do, please do it in a very confident and in a very innovative way. Thank you, all the contestants. Thank you. Thank you all the best and I really wish you all the best for your future.